coming off a two week birthday vacation. I'm Schmitty. This is Talking Schmidt. Today on the show, whoo, Lance Conklin, boys and girls. Born in Jersey, grew up in Florida, He's down in Ramona on the ramp, outdoors, a little windy, but it's a good one. Whether it be gone showing him a nose blunt for the first time, turning pro for Pal Peralta, going to Europe for the first time with Tony Hawk. Uh, the dude's got a lot of stories. He interviewed Slayer at Disneyland, jumped into the submarine ride, got a sequence in Big Brother. Fucking legend. Love Lance. And he'll be the first to tell you, skateboarding is not for half-steppers. I look at skateboarding, there's sometimes things that are done are almost magical. Like d the skill involved to do some of the shit, fearlessness. Like, um, there's certain tricks I've seen lately. Like, I'm just like, that takes some <laughs> balls, man. Holy crap. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this. Sorry to take a week off last week, but man, I needed it. Oh. What? Derby. We're giving it away this week, kids. Stay tuned for that. We got some new beanies. I got some scripted Talking Schmidt beanies in all kinds of colorways. We got orange, black. We got a blue and yellow for the Warriors. We got some different shits coming soon. So you're going to want to go on TalkingSchmidt.com and check that out. Um, rewind this and this is Lance Conklin and you are talking sh Schmidt. Boy. It's cool. Like tonight is the night. Here we go again. Just give it the old cause turn. Isn't it? All big dogs in. Schmitty. 96 times Schmitty. Thanks Schmitty. We on? Schmitty. Talking Schmidt. That's called going to the hospital, bitch. I be <laughs> shit my pants. Man. Your Rolodex is fucking deep. It's about the one, the one, the one. Who is this guy? He thinks he's tough shit. What's up? We're tastemakers. Come on, Smitty, what the fuck? Let's hear it for Greg Smith. Yeah! So uh, according to our statistician, the numbers tell us the female audience out there, not so large. Maybe today's guest can change all that. Live from Ramona, I got episode 95 with my amigo, Senor Lance Conklin. Hello, Greg. How are you, dude? Very good. How's, how's the uh, after rumble life down there on the Ramona campus? Um, it's good. You gotta remember, <clears throat> this is a hot rod shop that happens to have a giant vert ramp in the back. Yeah. So we do, but you know, work on cars and do this stuff and happen to have a uh, skateboarding in the back. I was thinking about it when I was, uh, when I knew that you were going to come on and is there one car that sticks out as like the sickest car that's gone through there that you guys have worked on? Yeah, I've been working with Jake for since 96. So there's been a lot of cars, a lot of cars and magazines. Um, shit. Just the race car. Yeah. The one that Sal bought, Sal Barbier. And we, we, it's a 1953 um, Ford. And uh, we turned it into a race car. So that one. Nice. Because everyone's involved, like Sal and Lance Dawes. Um, uh, we, <clears throat> we, <laughs> it's hard to explain. Well, I'm going to do a cranny uh, runner up. Cranston? <laughs> 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 what, his Dodge I just got here? <laughs> it's put the Jason's, uh, and Jason's fucking cars here? Yeah, and uh, Na uh, Nav's had a pretty sick one. Oh, it's 53? Yeah. Yeah, that's here. Yeah. <laughs> a lot well, of people come up here and it's, it's, that's the connection with everything is Jake who uh, you know he's a proprietor of this place but um, everyone comes up like my car's broke and this and that and, like that was for years until this ramp was here but um, everybody like Danny Way 
Mm-hmm. We'll bring his car up. Yeah, fucking, it's it's pretty rad. Because Jake's the best. He's fucking super it's hospitable, dude. knows what he's doing, hard worker, fucking low stress levels. Good dude. Very good dude. Yeah. Cheers, uh, Jake. Shout out. Well, uh, this episode actually is coming out on Tuesday, which is uh, this huge electoral uh, day. Do you got any opinions or care about uh, one way or the other on that? Did, are you voting? Did you vote? Will you vote? Um, yes. Oh, okay. Um, I study a lot of the... Uh, uh, man, I don't want to go to politics. I don't either, but, you know, I started the show off with America. I, I, don't, like yeah. this, I don't like this thing with the, um, the Great Reset and all this stuff. It's the... And, 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 the IMF and all it's 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 it gets too weird. Yeah. Well it really got it. I've been studying this shit since nineteen ninety one and it's just it's bizarre that I thought it'd be something different than uh COVID. And like everyone wearing masks and stuff and like it got the <clears throat> didn't they uh they lowered it down to a flu? And everyone's still like freaking out, and they, the news keeps pushing this agenda. Yeah, just not. You know, my mom thinks I'm fucking crazy. So does my brother. But <clears throat> <laughs> I'm like, the day one, I was like, it's a, it's not real. But whatever. Hmm. Well, we did just celebrate 30 years of Burnside. Fuck. Yep. That place is nuts. 30 years of Burnside. The mag just turned 40. We just put to the press our 40th year anniversary magazine for Thrasher. And last week I turned 51. So it's been a huge birthday month. Scorpio's rule in my book. But uh, you, on the other, you, on the other hand, are not a Scorpio. No, I was born April 7th, 1971. So in I'm going to be fifth. I'm going to be 50. You are. This is the big one. In, in April. Yeah, well, it's 50. I can guarantee you when you turn 50, you're going to get Hasoy. You're going to get a lot of these dudes welcoming you to the fifth floor. I didn't know what the fuck that shit was. <laughs> I turned 50. Oh, man. Everyone's like, welcome to the fifth floor. It's like the thing to do. So get ready. <laughs> oh, I'll be stoked, man. Yeah. Well, uh, how old's Cap? He's in his 50s, probably 50, yeah. I'm thinking 54, maybe. We just picked up uh, his, uh, he's got a, a Conaline truck. We just picked it up. Oh. And uh, he, sh- dude, he showed us his skateboard collection. It was so insane. What about his Coca-Cola you know, collection? I know. Dude. It was cool. Like, you know, you go to Cab's house and he's fucking showing us all this shit. It was so fucking rad. I love it. Cab leaving San Jose was Probably crazier than Tommy leaving San Francisco or Bryce. Oh my god. Or Mickey. <laughs> what about well, <laughs> the list goes on? So what about Mike Carroll? I know. Uh Florida, you were born there. Oh uh, no, I was born in uh, Livingston, New Jersey. Oh shit. Yeah, my family's all from uh up north. And then um <laughs> my uncle moved down to Florida and told my dad he just got out of vietnam uh to come down there and i was born go down there and my brother's born in st petersburg and there you go and your brother's how what's the difference uh year and a half year and a half so you were born born in jersey you moved down like within a year and then he was born a year and a half later yeah he was born uh september 1st 73 and then what did Here's my question. Did you guys get into skateboarding same day, Christmas Day with Christmas Completes or what? 1984. Same day? Skate- yeah, we both. Um, we both started skating. Here, oh, man. You'll love this. Yeah. Um, There's this uh, surf shop, skate shop, called Mad Beat Surf Shop. And John Grigley worked there. So I was going over there. Seeing these skate, uh, the Bones Brigade video show, all that stuff, right. watching it, and John Grigley worked there. I didn't know he was a pro skater or anything until like I looked in a magazine. I'm like, that's you know, make the connection. And uh, dude, that's when the St. Pete ramp was there. You know, his ramp. 
Right. And um, that started the ball. So early on was uh, – was there skate parks? Like, was uh, in was Grigley was a vert skater, right? Mm -hmm. So, oh, yeah. was that an influence on you right out of the gates? Like, was yep. there a, was there somewhere to access yes. that? There was a ramp up the road in Rennington. It's called Rennington Shores. There was a ramp there, and literally learning how to fakey, and then uh, just learning on that stupid ramp. I mean, God, you got to remember, like that's a long process. Yeah. But then when I when I got in high school, there was a ramp in St. Pete called the Nacho Ramp. The reason it's called the Nacho Ramp because it's Nacho Ramp. <laughs> it was Bruce Whiteside's ramp. That's and sick. um, so I would go to I would go to high school with my board, my pads, get made fun of because my shoes had holes in them and all this crazy shit. But I would like leave high school to go to that ramp. <laughs> And make my way home, you know, take the bus home. But like, I, dude, I was like committed to skateboarding, and this this ramp was the shit. It was fucking gnarly. And uh, Bruce and all those guys were very good friends with Paul Schmidt. Okay. Yep. And Monty would fucking skate there, and uh, Cleo Monty Coney. Nolder. Yeah, Monty Nolder, Cleo Coney, uh, Tom Nicholson, <clears throat> all these all these guys that were major influences on me. But Bruce Whiteside was probably number one because that guy ripped uh -huh. best smith grinds you've ever seen in your life how close were you to kona kona's up in uh, jacksonville so that's about a three hour drive three hour. would you go there at all yeah oh yeah damn oh, yeah uh, dude i still remember that. i think it was 1991 that contest remember that photo of danny way doing that fucking massive method air from the oh I, I don't been into the into the snake run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People, that is so gnarly. To this so, day, right? for sure, <laughs> guaranteed. This yeah. is insane. Yeah. Um. When we were when I was just down there, me and you were talking a bunch, and uh, Florida. I, I got to be honest; it's not my favorite place necessarily, but I have a <laughs> lot of friends that come from there, and mm -hmm. there's no doubt the lineage of rippers like me and you were talking it's uh, like blah 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 so many fucking good skaters. just just in my area like tampa bay area mm. and then gainesville we got roddy mullen mike mcgill uh mike fraser the dare brothers john montessi um my brother bo turner um the list can keep going um, then you know up in jacksonville you got like buck smith and um, Milligan and Alyssa, where are they from? Milligan, uh, they're from uh, Fort Myers. Fort Myers, you got uh, Milligan Olds, and you got Evan yep, Smith, yep. Zion Andrew, Wright. Andrew was right outside Delfinos. of East Lakeland. Yep, it's fucking nuts. Hey man, we got the boss. For a while, I thought we were just only giving Sodi to if you were from Florida. <laughs> That's why I thought I was like, dude, Evan then, Smith's next, then Delfino, then like, right? Fuck. But you know, then Brian Schaefer and. All those guys from Tampa. Mm. I live in St. Petersburg, and then Tampa is like, it's weird. If you look at Florida, there's this weird um, bay. That's where the pirates used to fucking uh, hide out. True thing. And, uh, you know, Tampa going from Tampa to St. Pete was a trek. And then their Clearwater ramp, like uh, um, the Greek, you know Jimmy the Greek? Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, he's from St. Petersburg. He's from uh, Clearwater, I think. Uh, oh shit, Clearwater! Don't kill me, Greek. <laughs> um, but we had the Clearwater ramp, and all these. You know, there was certain little ramps around everywhere. And like, you know, back in the day, you know, it was a big thing. Like, oh, there's a session, and you had to go. Yeah, and man, that was the best times ever. Fuck yeah! Who? What yeah. was like one of your first? Uh, non-local pro that came through town like oh shit so and so rob mertz and ken sigafus oh this is way back oh yeah 80s yeah. hell yeah. yeah we had this ramp called the sun coast ramp in um in st petersburg um brian uh brian drake you know that name brian drake yeah 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 he lived across the street and i i would go from madeira beach over to this ramp 
and skate every friggin' day, man. That was my vert ramp. Sun, oh. It was called the Suncoast ramp. Okay. Yeah. Cool shit. What was, uh, like, first flow? Like, what, what, who gave you your first free wheels, trucks, whatever? John Grigley. No way. <laughs> yes. I got a board. I got a, I got a, a old ghost. But, you know, the old ghost boards? Yeah, for but sure. There's a hand, hand-painted one that he just he handed it down to me. And then Tom Nicholson gave me stuff. Bruce Whiteside. Uh, Cleo Coney. Hmm. And then I, I, he, Cleo Coney got me on Tracker Trucks. So that was your first legit sponsor? Yeah, Tracker. Okay. Is, has Grigley ever been to um, the Rumble? Yes, he has. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, sick. Yeah. Is he, does he still, he still skate? Yes, uh, he's in New York, and um, oh, okay. he skates. He skates at uh, I don't know the name of that place. It's just like a plaza or something like, with, with the bowl and everything. Yep. Yeah, uh, John. John still water. rips. Okay, yeah. sick. I for some reason there was a a <laughs> recent John Grigley um, photo splurge on the social media. Like there was all these old photos of him. Yeah, dude has sick inverts, like twists. He's the man. Yeah. 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 Dude. dude. Yeah, Greeley's fucking gnarly. So, w- when you were in Florida, did you did you move to California before you got sponsored, or were you still in? No, no. I, <clears throat> I was in Florida, turned pro in 90. You turned pro right. in Florida? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. I remember still getting that, you know, Stacy Peralta turned me pro. Dude. And, uh. Was it a when, surprise? Uh, yeah, I won. I won the NSA. I think it was nineteen eighty nine or ninety. I can't, the the NSA thing in Reno. And then um, I'm just thinking, like, hey, I won a contest, cool. And driving back to Santa Barbara, and um, Stacy goes, "I want you to enter the, the uh, back to the city contest." And I'm like, "That's a pro contest." He goes, "I know. I'm turning you pro." And I'm like, like jaw dropping. Oh my god! Like. Damn, that was yeah. the same year Phil turned pro because that was his first contest back to the city. Phil Shaw? Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah. Yeah, right. he got, I think he got second or third. That was oh, Tommy won, right? Did Tommy win? Yeah, Tommy won and Tommy gave his trophy to someone else because Tommy's like, I didn't win, you won. He gave it, I forget who he gave it to. Oh, wow. That's yeah. Fucking That's so sick. Tom and a guy switch. Like, so, he, no, I know. <laughs> So yeah. good. Yeah, dude. Yeah. We, we, we camped overnight because uh, it was in the fountain and we fucking parked yeah. my truck and just slept in there. We were, oh, hey. yeah, we were waiting hyped. Dude, the, that contest was so fucking rad. Dude, it was a like, good one. Taking the, you know, the, you're, in, you're in San Francisco and it's fucking right in front of the, it's in front of the what? The, those fountains are in front of the. Yeah, the, City Hall. City Hall. Yep. So yeah, that's the coolest thing. He's like, dude, I'm skating in front of City Hall, and this is amazing. Okay, we got to backtrack a little bit because you're already pro, but, like, you got to talk about getting on PAL. How did that all go down? I mean, that's Mike a, Dare. Fucking, that's a Mike childhood Dare. dream. You're, wait, you're, you're growing up watching the Bones Brigade video. Like, these are your hugest influences. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, you're on. Mike Derrick. Mike Dare got spot, yeah, because Mike Dare knew Mike Vallely. Okay. Like, <laughs> this is so weird. Mike Vallely used to come down and uh, stay with the Dares, and this is like right when, like when Mike Vallely, you remember that shit? Like he, it's Mike Vallely. Yeah. <laughs> like the gnarliest skier ever, and he's yeah. coming down and like um, and then George knew Mark Gonzalez, and Nottis, so like. God, how can I explain this shit? It's bizarre, like, you're skating with, the like, your dream people. Right. And then it just, I don't know, Mike Dare got me on Powell. I'm trying to, the timeline is weird. That's 30 years ago. I know. It's a little tough to remember. Do you remember, like, uh, your first trip or something with the crew once you were on or something or an early memory? Yes. Like, like, dude, I'm in the car with fucking Frankie Hill and fucking Sen or I forget who's on it at the time. But All right. <clears throat> we go to uh, 
I was I didn't graduate high school because some I was a credit behind, uh -huh. and then I get a I get a um, Todd Hastings and a Jim Fitzpatrick were like, hey, we're gonna send you to France with Tony Hawk, Frankie Hill, Ray Barbie. Um, fuck, who else was on there? But I'm going to what? And I'm like, I gotta go and finish whatever. Now, you go going there, and my grandfather told me, well, you can always finish uh, high school, right? Yeah. When's the next time you're gonna get to go fucking France? Took that advice and went there. Nice. You. Yeah. So, so you. That was your first trip to Europe. Yeah. Same. With who's the crew? Tony Hawk, Ray <laughs> Barbie, Frankie Hill, Bucky Lasik. Fuck, who else? Was Lance Mountain? No, I wish. I love Lance. Lance is the best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's wow. the best. Yeah. Holy shit. So then you guys are like, uh, you're, how long are you am before that um, Reno contest when you turn pro? It was that, and then. <clears throat> like, what year did you get sponsored in? 88. And then you went pro like 92, 90, around uh, 90, like, it 90. was like December of 90, and then 91 happened. 91. So my board came out. Yeah, because uh, Stacy's like, oh, I need you to shape a board. And I'm like, what? And I can't remember his name, the guy at Powell. Like, who's, you know, how do you want your board and all this stuff? And I, I have the very first one I ever got. Like, I opened the package up. I still have it. And that shape is sick as fuck. Like, I look at it now, I'm like, all right, not bad. What was the graphic? This tattoo. <laughs> it's like a face. Sean Cliver drew it. Oh, he did? Fuck. Yeah. That rules. Sean Cliver, he won that. Um, he won that. Oh, uh, the contest in Big Brother. Shut like the that. fuck up. I swear. Sean Cliver. Not Big Brother. Not Big Brother. This was the they, they had it in a uh, trans world, I think. It was in tra It was a pal ad to win. The to win. artist uh, that puts in the best art gets to do our next graphic. Sean Cliver. And no one knew who Sean Cliver was at this time. Nope. Sean Cliver wins, and his first graphic is your board. Yeah. Damn. So I love Sean. He's good. Yeah, he's the yeah. shit. Yeah, he's awesome. One of the best <laughs> artists. Oh man. Uh, fuck the cards just falling into place for you. They did, and it was a wild ride. Hell yeah! But because you got to remember, in '93 when Brian Schaefer started the skate park in Tampa, uh -huh. and, you know, like Brian Clements and all these guys, like that whole crew, like those are all my fucking friends, like good friends. And God, the years go by, and it's awesome. I'm super proud of Brian and Brian and all those guys. And, it's pretty well shit. Do you try to get back there? Do, do you go to the uh, the contest at Tampa still? Oh, uh, every time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the last one was the best because uh, <laughs> Bill Weiss goes, he grabs me. Like I walk in, Weiss grabs me. He's like, you got to come over here. Okay. So we go behind where the, um, you know, this one spot. And fucking who do I run to? Clyde Singleton and Kareem Campbell. <laughs> I was like, no fucking way you guys are here, man. I haven't seen those guys in so long. It was fucking beautiful. That rules. Yeah. And then I get to meet all the new guys. You know what I mean? Like all the new skaters and stuff. And yep. Yeah. I, I, that's my favorite part. Cause like all these kids, God, they're so fucking good now. It blows my mind. Well, that's what the, uh, I remember Dennis Buzenitz one time. He hit me up. He's like, dude, how long have you worked at Thrasher? I was like, a long time. He's like, and you're still going to fucking Phoenix Am? And I was like, yeah, yeah because that's, that's where part. you fucking discover. This, that's how I saw Ashad before anybody. Nobody knew Ashad. And I knew Ashad because I seen him win Tam or Phoenix Am, you know? like I tattooed Ashad. Oh, sick. I did his Ashad Thrasher tattoo. Shit. I did his thrasher tattoo. Fuck. He, years ago. I'm saying maybe, I don't know. It's hard to say, but he's definitely a good skateboarder. <laughs> One of the best. Dude, I see those clips on Instagram and stuff. And it's like, 
That motherfucker that, skates hard so so good, many hours. That guy skates all fucking day. He's the first yeah. one skating and the last one skating. He's amazing. I love this shot. Amazing. Dude. I know. I love that guy too. So good. And it's, it's so great when I see him. He's always just, just the best, dude. Fuck yeah. All right. Here's a tough one. Since we're oh, talking God. about great skateboarders, can we do a top five? Easily. Do oh, Easily. Yeah? Okay. Easily. Wow. Easily. Okay. Top five skateboarders in my book. See, I I, I have a rule about this. Okay. Yeah, okay. Because we always do this stupid fucking thing. But um, <laughs> top five skaters. Mark Gonzalez. Tony Hawk. Matt Hensley. You went uh, Matt Tony Hawk, Matt Hensley, uh, Mark Arms. Gonzalez. And then who's four and five? Jeff Phillips and um, and Neil Blender. Shit, see? It, oh, man. And then All there's right. like... So but, Danny Way is not in the top five. Um, <laughs> well, Danny's is like, a, he's like a super human. Yeah. I he's don't kinda, know. I saw, I, I, okay, I saw Martin, a lot of things that Danny Way has done that no one will ever do. I've been... <laughs> to um, Point X, I I was there when they were filming that shit. Ooh. No, no, the gnarliest thing is like I go on top of the um, the giant quarter pipe. Uh -huh. I'm standing up there, and uh, he does a a five forty. It's beyond. It's it's like fifteen feet out. Yeah, it didn't. And the the craziest part is the wheels. You hear the. Whoosh, and it lasted for so long. And when he landed, I was just like, and I looked at the camera, and this is never, I, I want that footage, but I'm like, <laughs> dude, that's evil can evil. Yeah, he he really is. He's an uh, he's an evil can evil. The way Jake talked about because Jake uh Danny wanted Jake to be uh, kind of for going over the wall. Oh and, yeah. God. And Danny ate shit the night before and yeah. Jake went up and was like, Are you okay? And he was like, Not really. And Broke his Jake ankle. said the guy could barely walk. And then the next day he was like, I'm here. I got to fucking do it. It was so uh, evil Knievel mentality where it's like, fuck, the people are here to see me do this. I, I got to give it my best shot. I was at the um, very first X Games and I was uh. a judge. And Danny tried a 900 and belly flopped on the coping, flipped into the ramp. Me and uh, Greg Carroll, like, all the, you know, the, hey, they came around. We were like, get the fuck away, man. We we're like, that's our buddy. And we brought him to the fucking hospital, right? And I'm thinking, like, Danny's fucked, right? He walks out, like, you know, an hour later. You know, like, basic dude. Like, dude, it was gnarly. <laughs> He's, He's superhuman. I mean, He's yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's insane. Okay, this is probably when I'm thinking Lance Conklin, I'm like, okay, I'm going to interview him. What do I ask him? This is the first thing that comes to my mind. Okay. I got to hear in detail you at Disneyland with the Slayer <sighs> and you jumping into the fucking submarine thing. First question on this. That's fucking what true. You tell me the story. Was this preconceived or was this in the moment I'm going to do this? Like, did you think about you were going to do it before you went? <laughs> no. I, I get a call from Danny. Hey, we're going to go to Disneyland and meet Slayer. I'm like, yeah, right. Dude, we go there and there's a bar outside of Disneyland. That's where we're waiting for him, right? Uh -huh. An hour, hour goes by and we're fucking drinking and shit. And I'm going, calling bullshit and the whole thing. <laughs> and, um, dude, I can't even explain this. We're sitting at the bar and the fucking door opens. Tom Herrera, Kerry King, Tom Bosoff, and fucking, um, uh, oh, how am I forgetting this? But they walk in the door. And I'm like, you know, dude, we've been listening to Slayer forever. Yeah, yeah. This is, 19, this is 1996. Remember this. And I'm going, oh, my God. They sit down with us. I'm in between Kerry King and Tom Herrera doing shots of Jägermeister. We get fucking obliterated. Let's go to Disneyland. 
go to Disneyland. And you know the Pirates of the, Pirates of the Caribbean? Oh, yeah. Jump on that ride. And my stupid ass thinks, uh, oh, okay, I want that jacket off that guy. <laughs> yeah, I stand up. No, I didn't realize there's cameras and all shit. I'm like, good, you better sit down. Oh, shit. Spleef. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, buddy. No, it just hooked me up. Oh, nice. Oh, God. Okay. So I try and do that. You get yelled at by the invisible speakers. And then uh, <clears throat> we get out and they're like, fuck this. Let's go back to the bar. Because they were like, hey, you, got, you guys should leave. And um, all right. So we're about to get on the monorail to go back to the parking lot. And uh, Jeff Tremaine, you motherfucker, he's like, Lance, you should, you should jump in the water. I'm like, fuck that. And then I heard 100 bucks, 200 bucks, 300 bucks. Slayer, threw, like, we'll pay you. Do that, right? Got up to like 500 bucks. I'm like, 500 bucks to jump in the water? I'm in. Took all my shit off, jumped in the water. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> No, but the fucking craziest thing, it gets even better, dude. You can just be stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I go to jail. Like, a jail. And all these cops are talking, like, talking together. I'm like going, fuck, man, am I going to get beat up or something? And then the one guy comes up, he goes, what did you do? I try and explain the thing. And the one dude knew who Slayer was. He goes, don't worry about it, man. The judge, there's nothing to charge you with. So they're, you're going to get let out at 6 o'clock. In no the morning. Way. I have no shoes, no wallet, no nothing. I get let out like to the back door in Anaheim, uh, Irvine. Or is it Anaheim? Anaheim. Boom, go out the door. Where do I go? So I sit on a bus bench and, you know, get some sleep and call World Industries trying to get a hold of Rick Cossack. And he's like, oh shit. And he comes and gets me, brings me some shoes, go back to World Industries. Guess who takes me home? The guy from Dan, Slayer? No, Dan Stewart. Oh, shit, of course. <laughs> He's there delivering a photo. He lives in Carlsbad. I lived in Carlsbad. And I got a ride home with him, and what a great fucking ride home. Wow. I love Dan. Dude. Yeah, I love Dan Stewart. And there Dan's. was a sequence in Big Brother, right, of you mm -hmm. jumping in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then the interview with Slayer. You guys interviewed Slayer at Disneyland. That was the yes. article. That was the article. <clears throat> the Miss best part, Big brother, right? So, like a while later, Slayer played down here in San Diego, and uh, I got them to get me backstage. And uh, I've been, you know, just see them again. And I go, "Hey, uh, do you remember Disneyland?" And they're like, "You're the guy." So they all know who they remember me from that stupid stuff. <laughs> that is so sick, dude. Yeah. I just, I just gotta. Uh... I just got a fucking text message here from uh, Frankie Hill. Oh, Frankie. I love Frankie. He says, ask him what trick Bo Turner taught Frankie at the PAL skate zone. Dropping in on a couch? <laughs> Maybe that, but that's not the answer. Dropping? No? Hold on. Okay. Uh, what? Uh, I don't know. He says, shove it, late kickflip varial. Oh, no way. Really? <laughs> yeah. Fucking Turner. Dude. Were <laughs> you on it. any of those crazy missions with Frankie? Um, Were you, no. You? The, Frank, me and Frankie, we, we, we've been in Europe. And uh, just uh, when I go to Santa Barbara, I'm like, I always hang out with Frank. Frankie's the best, man. Okay. He's super cool. I just kind of got to meet him through this oh, podcast. Really? Yeah. Dude, do you remember? Okay. This goes way back. But do you remember him? Like, he was like, he kicked flip a gap with a striped shirt on at the Powell Warehouse. And it was like, I remember us just going, dude, how big is that gap? And like, dude, that guy looks so fucking cool. And we always love Frankie. And then, like, his board with the bulldog on it. Yeah. That was one of my favorite fucking boards. Oh, yeah. When I started getting bored, okay, getting sponsored by Powell, you got boxes, dude. Like 10 boards. Like, what the fuck? I want to do 10 boards. Like, I ride these things till they're dead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Always hook your friends up. But, 
that board, it was like Lance Mountain's board, Frankie Hills, Bucky, of course. It was right. rad to get like these, you know, I want that board, I want that board, I want that board. Thank you, Todd Hastings, Jim Fitzpatrick. <laughs> right. Yeah. Were, were you a collector? Did you hold on to stuff? Dude, I'm a, oh, no. Oh, God. My mother. <laughs> She threw some my shit. baseball cards and my skin. No, she collection. gave a bunch of. I had a fucking sticker collection. Ooh, <laughs> I did too. It's all good. Oh man, I know. But, uh, I started I another saved... one. <laughs> I have my second version. <laughs> you do? Yeah, but all my good old ones are gone. Oh. But now what's I got a. What's, I got what, a, what's, your, what's I, your favorite one you got right now? I got a few. I like, dude, to be honest, the Julian Needle one is really rad. Yeah. I love that one. I somehow got that. I had it on my first version, and I got I got some old classic ones on the second one. But, uh, yeah, some of the early Dogtowns, I got like a Dress in Dogtown and an Aaron Murray, I think. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, but, yeah, what do you – what you you don't have any? No, I got, I got, I got a few things that I've saved. I mean – not the ones I want. Do you know what sucks? But it's funny. <laughs> my dad would like grab my, you know, whatever shirts I had around or whatever. He cut the fucking sleeves off. That's how my dad rolled, right? <laughs> and he, he did it to a Jason Lee shirt, the one with the embroidered hamburger. Oh, yep. And the indie team one. Oh. The one with the four, and this is team. Yeah. That was my favorite shirt because Mark is always doing that. Yeah. He cut the sleeves off. I was like, no. <laughs> well, now you got to just cut the whole thing off and make a quilt with just the front. I know, right? That's what they're, they're gone. I don't even know where they're at, but like, <laughs> this is funny. There's Fuck. so much stuff I had that I don't have anymore. I wish I had. I wonder. Uh, Do you know Nick, Nick Halkius? No. Um, He's got the skateboard museum or whatever uh, in Florida. Oh. oh, in Florida? Yeah. No, I, I know the dude uh, at in California, but I don't know that oh, one. But, oh, okay. He's, I he's know got everything. Did, Fucker's got everything. Like, Maybe I should hit him up because I got a storage unit I'm trying to reduce, and I got some cool stuff that I want to get rid of at a I want 10%. Yeah, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Cranny's got a guy just south of the border. If you drive <laughs> down, <laughs> perfect, perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, can we give me one good Neil Blender story? Shit, just playing music with him, dude. Yeah, right. Well, because like I would go and pl uh, play with him and Steve Clare a lot. You usually uh, play bass. Or yes. Or yeah. And I was in a had <laughs> Dwayne's band. Right. Which was odd. Not the US that. bombs. It was Dwayne, the other one. The gun, Dwayne the Peters gunfight. Right, right. Gunfight. Gunfight. Okay. Yeah. No, that, was, that was a wild one. <laughs> you're, you're in my life doing that. that I remember you guys uh, broke down on your way to the park side. San Francisco. Yep. At, somebody and, uh, had to go pick you guys up, I think. Had to pick us up, all of our fucking equipment, get there, set up, do all that shit, and then, um, was it Tim Armstrong was there? Uh huh. The Thebo, because we were playing with Anti Nora League. Right. I just and uh, Jim bought Mark Gonzalez an Anti Nora League shirt, and I didn't know this. And, um, Jim goes, "That's Mark's favorite band." No way. I swear. That's what Jim. I, I, I mean, cross check it, but like I swear. Huh. And um, yeah. And yeah. I remember Mark. You know, Mark sends you little weird things, all, you know. Yeah, postcards yeah. or drawings. Oh, God, I've just gotten some rad ones. <laughs> Lucky. But I know. I save them all. I love it. But yeah. um, he sent me a video one time with Anton Norwood. Uh, it's hard to explain, but yeah. Huh. What, uh, that, what man. was touring with Dwayne like? What was fucking... You guys played the... Uh, What's it called? Not the S Festival. What's that thing Vans did? There's like a little festival. No, the um, uh, X, uh, X Games. No. The um, Warp Tour. Warp Tour. Yeah, yeah. the three of them. What's that like? You guys get pretty good drawings. Yeah, didn't I, call, I called you, didn't I? Yeah, I came you out to the one yeah. under the Bay Bridge. The Bay Bridge, man. Wow, what a... 
That was so You're strange. up on stage like before and after some pretty good bands. You know what's so funny? I'm usually wearing like different clothes and stuff. I wore, remember I wore a Thrasher shirt and yeah. I think a thr- whatever. But uh, Dwayne's like, what are you doing? You don't have, uh, you don't have your um, um, stage gear on. I'm like, okay. I'm getting yelled at. You had to have a, these attires. He me. wanted you to wear a certain outfit for uh, playing. But I was like, fuck that, man. I'm in San Francisco, wear a dress shirt. Da, 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 da. <laughs> One of my favorite quotes is uh, Caballero in some video. He's like, does it look like I'm skateboarding? If I was yeah. skateboarding, I'd be wearing skate shoes. Because <laughs> he, was, he was wearing Doc Martens. He was wearing Docs and so it was vibing of He's like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I totally remember that. That's the best one. Yeah. Uh, oh man. Uh let's uh let's put on you got a good Dwayne song that we could put on right now, real quick. You know what? Play um for Dwayne, play the band Chelsea. Oh, okay. Here it is, Chelsea. For you, Dwayne. <laughs> can can we talk a little bit about the uh Papas documentary? Yeah. You were in it. Yes, no. I got one question for you. Oh, boy. Here we go. Do you think that he was uh, about to do the 900 before Tony Hawk? It sounded like a conspiracy theory was brewing on this whole mission. You know what? (laughs) (laughs) That's a weird one, right? That's a real weird one. Because, all right, Danny Way, I mean, yeah, you know, and it, it, I know he touched down, probably didn't right away, but that's fucking gnarly as fucking hell. And then right. the timing of that, like, if, I don't know, why would they, like, not let Toss keep going? I don't know. Hmm. Because, dude, he had that motherfucker. I was at uh, Encinitas at the thing watching him and at the Plan B ramp. Like, you know, I rolled around those guys for a while. Sure. I've seen him get so fucking, it's like, oh my oh. God, how did you not make that? Huh. And, uh, yeah, I've seen it. Damn. R.I.P. is bro. Yeah. God damn it. I was at... I think that was one that's, of the heaviest that's, that's, documentaries I've ever seen. Because, yeah. like, that was I still so remember, heavy. I still remember. Um, I'm at Hensley's bar when Matt had that bar. Yeah. And um, who was it? It was Swift or somebody. It's like, did you hear about Ben? I'm like Ben, who? I'm like Pompous. Like, what about him? Like, oh, I fucking they found him like dead. A thing. And I was like, you, those guys just isolate. They lived with us. Like, I, I used to live with Danny Way. Yeah. And, uh, Ken, and Ken Block. <laughs> oh, and, wow. Uh, oh, yeah. And then we rented the room out to the fucking Papa's Brothers, dude, twice. Oh, man. I I went inside, I'm like, hearing all this fucking chaos and shit. I come in and toss his fucking beaten Ben in the head with a fucking indie truck. <laughs> Holy Swear to God. Shit. And I had a... Don't ever break up a brother fight, especially if they're Australian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. They came after me. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, my and, uh, God. Yeah. But uh, Ben, oh, man, that was a hard one. Fuck. Uh, we've had a lot of hard ones. Fucking. Oh, God. Crom, it's insane, man. man. It's just insane. Um, yeah, I'm on, I'm on the Ramona ramp right now, and Grosso had a big part of this. So. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It was it was uh it was weird this year uh on so many levels with, obviously with the covid and all the shit that's gone on but that one fucking yeah. sparked it kind of it was like right first week of covid boom you're like what i just got hip surgery like, like, that, like oh man it tore my heart out oh uh, yeah um what else? Uh, what have you been doing down there? You guys are working on a um, Caballero's car? 
I was in Florida and some uh, some things happened, and uh, I had to get out of there for a little bit. And uh, Jake's like, "Fuck, dude, come and help me with some uh, working on some cars." I haven't done it in a while, so. Right. There I am. Nice. What's this yeah. Project Blue Beam I'm hearing about? Oh, stop. <laughs> How'd you know about that? I just read about it on the interweb. <laughs> oh, really? Want to go there? <laughs> Is that a top uh, secret? No, it's not top secret. It's just. It's I don't know long, what it is. It's a long thing to explain. Uh, okay. Look um, it up. What's your favorite part about wet sanding cars? Getting it done? Yeah. <laughs> Walking away from that thing? <laughs> Jesus. Where's the best place to sleep at Doomies? You guys are fucking sending this, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Fuckers. You're fucking me, man. They're, right. zap, they're zapping me right now. They just said to ask you what your Frank favorite Frank Zappa song is. Oh my god, um, Bobby Brown. Bobby Brown. Mm -hmm. Or wait, don't eat the yellow snow. Don't eat the yellow snow. Yeah. Here it goes. Okay, me and some friends have been arguing, or not even arguing, but just discussing for a long time. Uh, across the pond, there's many great bands in the history of life. But in the U.S., what's the greatest American rock band of all time? Like, and it can't be Jimi Hendrix. Like, it has to be a band, you know? It can't be like... Velvet Tom Underground. Band. Velvet Underground? And then Iggy Pop. Fuck. Stooges? Yeah, the Stooges, yeah. Um, MC5. Fuck, man, there's... That's a good one. There's too many. Yeah. The Ramones? Yeah. Uh, that's not right. Well, yeah, I was, okay, here's my claim, right? I was saying Van Halen, but then someone oh, shit, said, that's a good one. but someone said Sammy Hagar ruined it. <laughs> and I was like, you can't just take the David Lee era. They're like, nope, the whole band got ruined when Sammy got it there. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, MC5's in there. <laughs> Fucking uh, Ramones, um, Devo. Of course, Devo. See, it's a, it's a wait, tough wait, one. Okay, wait, wait, wait. It's like a, it's like a trick question. Rock and roll. Yeah. Like rock and roll. The, the, the a fucking lot of Chuck Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry, but it's not a band. That's a one dude. Because I would say Jimi Hendrix, maybe, but it's like a one, like Bob Dylan. That's one dude. Has to be a band. There, there's a band behind him. Yeah, but um, it's not. Oh, I fuck. guess their right. their stipulation is has See? to be. Yeah. Mm -mm. I guess. Um, yeah. There's a little. There's few rules. I okay. Mean, wait. 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 Parliament. 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 Yeah. Fuckadelic. Okay. <laughs> that's the best fucking band ever. There we go. All yeah. right. That's actually a new. That um, is a new addition to our discussion. Okay. I think I, like I think Tim uh Tim Kerr from Big Boys. Oh yeah. He said uh Sly and the Family Stone. That was his. It's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> That's beyond good. <laughs> Goddamn. That's not like Yeah. Uh, I wish to do that. Dude, there's two it's like ah, I can't think right now. No, nah, it's it's an endless discussion. In a week you'll have two different ideas. You know what I mean? It's Here, like well wait. We play this game called uh, DJ Wars, where you you got your phone and you know you're connected or whatever. Okay. But you gotta t you gotta you gotta play a song, right? Like let's say like you play "Beautiful World" by Devo. Right. You gotta top that song with something else, and it can be anything, right? You could play like rap or uh, country because it'd be like, okay, play Devo, blah blah. All right, I'll play Johnny Cash. That kind of trumps Who it. Who decides little, if it tops it? You kind of go, yeah, it's Johnny Cash. You know okay. what I mean? Devo, okay. So you kind of like, you know, you could go all the way down to like, you know, the Beatles and Rolling Stones or, you know. Yeah. It's it's a funny game to play because you got to, you got you to gotta take, you got to fuck that guy shit up because then you could go like, all right, I'm playing the Wu-Tang Clan. 
Uh, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. totally take it off to the other side. Like, all right. Get Jake Brown <laughs> in on that one. Oh, my God. That song he plays. <laughs> Rude boy. <laughs> What's <laughs> Rude boy. <laughs> hey, how's that dice game, though? So fun. Dude, Dude, he's got it all like fucking Parker Brothers. It's all the box and everything. It's all I know, legit. He's got it. He's got it ready to go. I hope it. I hope it works out. I do too. I was hyped, yeah. and he's got a lot of passion behind it. Like he's fired up for it. So, oh, dude, he's, <laughs> we were, hey, so Jason Jesse told me one time Jake Brown's name came up, and Jason's like, "That motherfucker knows Oprah." <laughs> <laughs> yes he's like he was on oprah he was on bill king like <laughs> yes that rules so good uh, jason say hi to jason for me absolutely um you been given any tattoos yeah, yeah i was i had i had to step away from it for a minute okay yeah it's just it was weird i, <clears throat> I don't want to explain i just had to Step away from everything for a hot second. Okay. That's yeah. in Florida? Yeah. Okay. You ever uh, been to Hawaii? <laughs> to change planes, that's it. Oh, really? Because yeah. uh, my my friend, maybe your friend Chris Sen, he's out there and he's given tattoos with Adam McNatt. Yep. They got a shop together. I, uh, yeah, I know. Um, we, uh, we talk to each other. Oh, okay, the, uh, sick. On the interweb. Right. Dude, I want to, yeah, Chris is the best. Like, he's got, if you ever go to the oh, big island, guy. he's got you, he's got whatever you want to do, he'll tell you where to, like, he's got it. Okay. Now. Yeah, and, he, uh, he's, he's, he's invited me. Yeah. He's it's like, so, dude, get out here. Let's go eat on this, that. You'll this love stuff. it. It's the most relaxing, best place, I think. I don't know. I love it there. Well, yeah, I want to go there. Like, ah, that'd be awesome. Which, which, where's he at? He's in Kona, big island. Okay. It's the one with the volcano too. Like me and my chick uh, went out there and saw the volcano saw erupting the, into the ocean. No way. It was like life hammer shit. Like you're just like, what the fuck? It's still doing. What the it fuck? does it occasionally, not always, but the timing was right when we were out there and we took like a dude. Like that must have been amazing hike. Oh, dude, it's insane. You're it's pitch What's black it smell out like? and it's just like. Well, what does it smell like? Kind of like sulfur, like a little, like, you know, like salt water in the bay and stuff. Sure, yeah. Kind of like that, like the, the gas, it's gaseous, you know? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I always wondered what that smelled like. like yeah, it's like, I looked at her, she looked at me, and we were just like, maybe the best moment of our life right now. You wow. surf at all? I try, but I don't know. I'm, I can't really, oh, okay. I, haven't, I haven't gone out enough times to like okay. get, like I had the bug almost, and then I kind of hurt my shoulder, and I was like, "Man," eh. but oh, man. I want to. I've, I've been serving since I was eleven, so. Yeah. Oh, you have? Yeah. Oh, sick. Oh, well, just one of the main reasons I moved to San Diego is I wanted to surf. So, guys, every morning I got up at uh, five o'clock, six o'clock, get a coffee, go check the waves. They're good. Jump right out there, and then you know I didn't have to be to work. You know, it was tattooing and stuff until 12. So it's like, all right. Where's the, is, is, where did you go there? In Encinitas or San Onofre? Oceanside. Oceanside. It's good surf Ocean's, there? Oh, God, yes. Really? Yep. All the guys from Oceanside, the, the, the Rock, Oceanside Boulevard, the Pier, and in the Harbor. Is it a I, good place to learn? No. Okay. I need a good place to learn and then go fucking just post up. Sunset Cliffs, big rolling. Just, yeah, sunset eclipses are happening. Okay. Yeah, so Neil, Neil, I'm you. Break it down. Florida versus California, the good and bad of both. California has the uh, the culture that we follow. Started here. Right. For me, it's like when it includes cars and skateboarding. Some of the clothes and some stuff I wear, like it's it's California. Go back to Florida. <laughs> it has skateboarding. It has surfing and stuff, but it's just different. It's just—it's hard to explain, man. It's like, what about weather? Oh God, this is it. I'm in beautiful California. Yeah. I mean, the, the air temperature is great. My mom, um, 
But in Florida, I always tell people, man, come during the winter. Summer sucks. You go to the winter, it's the same weather here in Florida. Winter is no, the best time. Yeah, but there's no storms. It's just fucking beautiful all the time. Uh -huh. And then when we get into the storm areas, like when it gets hot. And what's your Hawaii? What's, what's your like East Coast Hawaii? Like, uh, is it, uh, what's it called? Uh, Turks and Caicos or like the Caymans or like where's the island on the East Coast that's like oh, kind of like California oh. has Hawaii. What's the East Coast have? For like Puerto a destination. Rico. Puerto Rico? Oh yeah, Puerto Rico. Huh? Have you Cuba? been to Puerto Rico? I want to go. I have friends there and there's a break there. It looked like They told me like it hits like five, six, seven foot. Perfect all the time, right? So it's like, oh my God, I want to go there. Have you been to the Cranchin? Oh, have you? No, maybe in February. Oh my God. Dude. The <laughs> <laughs> Such a bastard. I love uh, it. Yeah, I love Cranny. I miss him so much. It's like. Me too. Uh, the, the, the best was when he gave me your number and like, he's like, you have to do it. And like he was at Jake's house. Oh. Up the road. Yeah, it was so fucking hilarious, man. And like, you know, uh, shit like that. I love that stuff. Like, it was just funny. Man, shit. Yeah. And now a word from our sponsors, and then we shall be right back. Hey, it's Corey at Blue Plate, 3218 Mission Street. Come see us. Meatloaf, fried chicken, deviled eggs, Dollar Olympia beers. We're here every day of the week. We got a garden and we got smiles on our faces. Come let us make you happy. Hey, real quick. I just want to give a special shout out to Burnside. Shout out. Uh, I was going to do this whole thing, um, but you know, you only have 24 hours in a day. You only have seven days in a week. And all of a sudden, here's another episode. I just want to go out of my way here to tip the cap to you guys that have kept it going and continue to build more, add to it, fight with the city, kick out the goons, keep the BMXers out and the rollerbladers and the graffiti artists and all the people that try to like infiltrate and ruin it. You guys are doing an amazing job and I hope that all cities around the world can use you as an example and let's get more spots like that around. Um, big love. Hey, yo, what it is, though? It's the boy Be Legit. San Quinn, Black Sea, Rich Rich. You know what I mean? I got my gear on and it looks like we're getting ready to make a huge announcement. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, now entering the podcast is the executive director, Cheryl Amber Camisa. Let's get ready to pick a winner. Oh, hats off to you on that one. You kind of look like Merlin the Magician. Let's put the let's put this up over here so people know. And we're gonna like, you know, we're gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna like, oh no, they didn't cheat. No, no. Because I got some friendly I got some familiar names in this fucking thing. And if one of them gets pulled out, they win. But there's a, you know, a lot of people entered and I want to thank you all. And I want to give thanks to Derby too, because this is really cool. And the winner of the Charcoal Derby from Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Turn that thing around. 
Grant Clarkson. <laughs> you are the winner and will be receiving a charcoal derby in your size as soon as we can mail it out. Thanks to Cheryl, and thank you, Derby of SF. Hopefully, we'll be giving away another jacket of a new color wave they do in a few months. Thank you to all you that submitted and played along. We love participation. And congratulations once again to you, Grant Clarkson. You're going to have to send us a photo when you get the jacket and a hashtag at sign me, throw me a follower. First impression with Timothy Donald McKenney. First impressions of Lance Conklin. Uh, I got a good one for you, son of a bitch. Uh, no matter where you are, no matter what hotel you're in. Shit, it didn't matter if you were in a Trav Lodge. This fool's coming into your room, not even looking at you. He don't give a fuck who you are. And he's going up to your phone and he's calling <clears throat> chicks in Tampa or whatever the hell. He just get on your phone and start calling people and running up your phone bill. That was his little fun for the, for the trip. He'd go to hotel room to hotel room, probably calling broads in Tampa. Didn't even say hello, just walked through the door and you knew right where he was going, right to your hotel phone. It was funny as fucking shit. And I'm talking every time. It was his game, fool. Your plan is you don't really have a plan right now? You're kind of just staying out there and helping um, do me? No, no, I'm, yeah. I came out to help Jake do some things and, um, and then, uh, I mean, I have stuff going on in Florida uh -huh. I'm taking care of, but like, I, you know, I'm taking a little hiatus. Okay. Yeah. You playing any music while you're out here? Dude, I've been playing, you know, you're, they got the drum set up. It's still <clears throat> set up? Oh, yeah. Dude. And then, uh, uh, who has it? Uh, the Cam? Twin? You know, the, you know, Cam? Yeah. Is he yeah. okay? He's good. He's, uh. Break a rib? He collapsed his lung. Dude, he ate shit. I know, but he collapses long. Is he? He's in he, the hospital. Yeah, I know. He's good now. Oh, right. Yeah. I mean, he's just—he's waiting. Hold on. Oh my God. He's waiting to skate. No way. Huh? Another month. Oh shit! Another month. Ooh. Fuck I'll tell you ribs. this. I don't know what a collapsed lung is like, but I have broken a rib, and it was the worst <laughs> experience of my life. You can't he sneeze. Had, you can't laugh. No. Nothing. This shit happened to my brother, right? And he had the tube in his lung. When he clapped for long, they got to get the liquid out, right? <clears throat> and I remember Warren, I was telling, like, you know, we were talking to Cam on the phone. I go, dude, you can have the weirdest thing in the world. This is what my brother said. So he pulled that tube out. It's like a <gasps> some <laughs> shit. And he fucking came over. He said the same thing. He's like, dude, that wasn't, like, get that thing pulled out. Oh, oh my God. No, I can't imagine. I, yeah, I don't want to. Um, so I told Archer and Noah, uh, I think pretty sure that it's been cleared that the edit from the this year's Rumble is going to go up this Saturday. Okay. So stoked on oh, that. I got clearance oh. and uh, we're putting oh, it tell up. No, no, be stoked. Yeah, no, I, no. Told, I texted oh, those guys. Oh, okay, cool. Right. But you've been everyone, I think, or most of them, right? What? You've been at every Rumble or all? Almost? I think I haven't. I missed two. What? Which one do you look back on as like fuck? Yes. Um. The pinup girls. <laughs> oh, that's a great one. Yeah. For obvious reasons, but um, the skateboarding though, when Lance Mountain did that uh, channel plant, frontside channel plant. Yep. Insane. Christian Soy here. Oh yeah. Insane. Dude, he was like you know how Christian is, man. It's just oh, those, yeah. that that laugh he's got. <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah. the hype up he has, dude. He, dude, mm -hmm. he, you could have the worst day in the world and that guy will make you go, Wee! God, Christian's the best. But like definitely Christian here and like skating, like dude, I was like, Oh god, there's one of my heroes. 
right in front of me, killing it. It's amazing. And him, it's funny because like I've known him forever, but like it still gets like that guy knows me. So sick. I I don't think we've had um, Mike Frazier out there. No, Mike's been here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he destroyed this place. Uh, we need Mike he out, did here the gnarliest again, out there again. Shit, dude. Yeah. Mike Frazier did the gnarliest shit here for sure. He's so, he's one of my favorites. He's one of everybody's favorites. The best is uh, me and Mike Dare got him on Paul. Right. We were telling those guys at that Reno contest, we're like, we got a friend of ours coming out. He rides for Zorlak. He needs a new sponsor. <clears throat> He's sleeping. He, he'll kill me if I get this wrong. He slept in the bushes the first night. He had nowhere to sleep. He sleeps in the bushes, ends up at the contest, skates his ass off. And I think that to, we, like, we didn't know he was sleeping in the bushes, you know, because we were at the contest. That's our boy from fucking Florida. Yeah, yeah. We would have been like, get to fucking in a hotel. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, dude, Fraser's gnarly. He's so sick. Um, you ever, if you if you ever interview him, write this one down. Just ask him about uh, Coca Cola's the the leader cokes, the big ones. Ask him about that. <laughs> fucking bet Coca Cola's. Uh, you would bet so, two liters of Coke on on tricks. Oh shit! Like, okay. You gotta buy me a two liter if I fucking make this. That guy. <laughs> oh my god! Surprise! Like. Coke Cola is to that motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Um, we're coming to uh, the gnarliest thing you've ever seen live gnarliest. in person. The gnarliest thing I've ever seen in person. <laughs> That's a weird question. Yeah. Because there's. I'll give you. I'll give you a hint. Well, there's. A, well, there's like. Strubing, Strubing said Brian Schaefer on the loop. Oh, you're talking about skateboarding. We're just talking in general. Could be anything. Well, because be I've, seen de getting... I've seen death in front of me. Oh. Um, you seen people get shot? No, I found a friend of mine who committed suicide. And it's not, you know what I mean? Like, that's probably the hardest thing I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I think I, you know the story. Yeah, the one with Cranny. God damn. Yeah, no. <laughs> I was the one that ran up and I thought it was a noise. And I'm the one who, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, maybe let's make it more specific <laughs> to <laughs> on the skateboard. <laughs> um, the noise thing I've ever seen on the skateboard. Oh, I got it. I got it. I'm skating with a uh, guy, Rudy. I think, uh, yeah, Jordan Richter was there. We're skating, um, this place up in LA, <clears throat> whatever. I'm with Ray Barbie, right? So Ray would be like, hey, let's call up uh, Jason Lee or um, or Mark, see what they're doing. Yeah, I swear. This, this is my yeah. life for a while. It was insane. Yeah. I look back at it, I'm like, oh my God. But um, so Ray calls up um, Jason. I don't think Jason was there though. Oh, they were skating some place. So I end up over there and there's Guy Rudy and Jordan Mark. And, uh, uh, yeah, jo uh, not Jordan, uh, guy goes, hey, Mark, show us a new trick. A new trick? Ooh. You know what I mean? Like, what do you got? Does a nose one slide right in front of me. First time, I'm like, that is not possible. How, what? You know what I mean? Yeah. So Mark does that. And then like months go by, whatever. <clears throat> and then there's a Powell contest where they showed the um, blind video. They premiered it at the, at the video the days. Yeah. 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 So I'm sitting there watching that shit and like, that's what Mark was doing, you know, because at the contest, Mark was doing nose slides and like, no one, Mark was doing it. Oh God. Doesn't make sense. But yeah. I saw Mark do nose slide like, Months before, before any, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, and then you know, the rumor mill like people like back then they just had regular phones and stuff. And then right. we started hearing Henry Sanchez was did it impossible to nose blunt slide, and we're like, no, <laughs> what 
<laughs> what is what is the sorcery? But um, yeah, uh, Mar- yeah we hear Henry Sanchez is that, and then me and my brother and Bo were like doing it into the grass, and like I didn't fucking I, who did it? I think it might have been my brother or Bo or some, maybe me. Uh, was one of us did one. We're like fucking anything's possible. <laughs> we did that like in a little yeah, it's cool. What do you think was um? One of the most influential uh, videos for you. Bones Brigade video show. The video show? Yeah, the first I one. think that was the first video I saw, maybe. Dude, Lance Mountain made skateboarding the best. And then you got Cab. Just... Right. You want to skate, like, you know, and Tony Hawk doing the most fucked up things in the world. Right. Do the finger flip and the that backside ollie. That's a manly backside ollie, dude. Even though he's all skinny and whatever, but like. <laughs> Did you um, spend much time with Stacy when you were on, uh, pal? Yeah, he he'd be around a lot. Did did he? We would go to his office. No, no, get this. Into, okay, yeah. No, we would go to he his office in L.A. and uh. I fucking forget where it was. But like Sesic would be there. I love Craig Sesic. Me that too. Guy fucking rules. Yeah, I love Sesic. He's awesome. I've had some good times with that guy. Oh, man. He rules. <laughs> yeah, he rips. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's like a true artist. Yeah. He's, oh, man. Yeah, he used to spend a lot of time at the mag, so I got to know him pretty well. Oh, I'm sure, dude. And he's yeah. such an interesting person to talk to. He's very approachable. Yeah, he's kind of like the old, uh, you know, the Hunter S. Thompson uh, sure. kilt. Like him and Fausto would just get in a car and oh. go on a road trip and just brainstorm. Yeah. That's what Fausto, it. man. I miss Fausto, man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah he was. <sighs> I used to love talking to that guy. He's like, <laughs> uh, he'd love to come down and fucking meet Doomy and see what you guys, I uh, mean, the car shit. He was no, he, I know, I, I know, I know the car stuff. I used to talk to him about it because he wanted Danny Way to do some uh, racing shit. Yeah, Way for long Track time Magic. Ago. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I did the Track Magic website, so I got to go up and test those little carts. So sweet. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. How fast do I go? I think they go over a hundred, maybe. Yeah, I know. Like, like I didn't go that fast, but I think they can. <laughs> no, no, they can. Yeah, and they're, but the, but there's formula. It's Formula One. It's it's three stages before. Right, I think. but that's what. Yeah, the, you're the, working the, on the your way. The goal is your Formula One. Yeah. There was a dude oh, named wait. Mamo Gidley that rode for Fausto that eventually right. made it, I think, to the Indy 500. No shit. <laughs> yeah. So sick. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's good shit. Fuck yeah, dude. Fucking hell. Um, it, I don't know. Is there anything else that I'm? I anything else that I fucking we should t- touch base on? Just uh, maybe uh, I just want to say what's up to my family in Florida. Uh huh. And then all my homies. And uh, just you know, kind of like <clears throat> skate park in Tampa. Ryan and um, I don't know what I'll say. It's just fucking, you know, skateboarding is a strange thing that, like, how it's taken us around the fucking world like a thousand times, right? Yeah. And then our friends that are gone, like P Stone and yeah, I was, Rosso and, I was tripping on this the other night. So, because I've been doing a lot of reflecting, uh, accidentally and on purpose but um one of the things that came up with and i don't know if this is true or not but this is in my thoughts was like where else besides skateboarding do you like i know at least 20 to 30 people really well that i've known for more than 20 years sure like i feel like we have these relationships that maybe other people in normal life don't have 
Is that like the punk rock thing? Like when, the, when I was in Ramona, yourself? right? I'm in Ramona. Yeah. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to Navarrete, who I've known for 20 plus years. Real right. good friends. I leave there. I go to Escondido and I hang out with Jerobel. I'm not trying to drop, like I'm a name dropper. No, no, no. Like, I've known Jerobel for like 30 years. And so right. like I get home and I got a group of friends I've known 20. And I'm thinking like, that's not normal, I don't think. I don't think like regular people have relationships with as many people as we do for this long of a period. Like we're we're a passionate group that grew together. Maybe that's maybe it's the magic of it. I, no, I think it is the magic of it. Because I look at skateboarding, there's sometimes things that are done are almost magical, like the skill involved to do some of the shit. Yeah. Like, like the, the fe- that's fearlessness. Like, um, there's certain tricks I've seen lately. Like, I'm just like, that takes some <laughs> shit. Oh. balls, man. Holy crap. Hey, last week I went to Wallenberg. Oh, God. And, and I filmed Brandon Turner. And he Brandon landed- Turner? He landed his ender for the fucking skate mafia video. <laughs> and it was hard. Let me just give you a hint. It was hard. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. So, Do you have a ramp to get into it? Yeah. But it's oh, really? fucking big and No. No, yeah. I dude. I tried to all it with Markovich back in the day. Oh, did you? Yeah. And I was I was there and I was I've been there. God, there's that photo of me and Thrasher, like, I'm holding a beer. Oh, did you go after the Back to the City contest? Yeah. We went there, and Markovich, I think, tried to back 180 it. Maybe. Tried kickflip it. Kickflip it. Tried to kickflip it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Tried to kickflip it. And yeah. uh, I was there with him, and I'm fucking, I'm like, that length, dude. And the, it's it's not, that length is, like, low. It's not high. Yeah. Like you can, oh, I can make that. No, it's low. Right. It's long. It's and long. Like, that's what it is. Like you gotta, you're you're all in a gap. Not you're not jumping down. No, you're all in a gap. Yeah, and that's a way different fucking thing. And then, right? So let's say like Mark, there was no ramp when he fucking all in, oh. like, grabbed it. And he fuck? came in through the gate. I, Frank Dude, didn't have a gap when he kick flipped. Did he? I mean a ramp when he kick flipped? Did either? Gerwer. Oh, that's right, Gerwer. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that's that's probably one of the best things i've ever seen too King i love Fred, frank dude. i know yo frank frank love you the brother best. yeah he's the best love that guy Whew. well um dude i'm stoked that we made this work out sure i'm let's, fucking way stoked let's i'm on top of the ramp wait wait let me, let me give you a little view okay yeah yeah i'm on top of the ramp oh shit <laughs> look at this fucking guy right here who we got who we got flappy's garage what up? <laughs> biggest. That would be biggest. Yeah. We got no over there in the corner. Hey, if we can if we can make this happen with you, maybe in a week or two we can make it happen again with Jake. <laughs> he will not do it. He won't, huh? Not even no. to promote his game? No. No. He doesn't, he doesn't need to promote himself. <laughs> <laughs> God no, damn that, it. That, 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 what, he's behind the scenes and he I likes know. that. I know he's the best. I know Uh, he's so fucking great. We always end it on a on a on a song, and it can be any any song you want. If you're fucking going in to put your favorite record on, or if you're in the bar with a jukebox, like what song do you want to, or something that could describe your fucking feelings right Right now, now, brother? For my buddy, who is not here right now, um, let's do um, Peter Tosh, Reggae Myelitis. All right. I like that. Mm -hmm. Dude, thank you so much. Schmitty, fucking love you, brother. Love you too. Take care. (laughs) It's so good to talk to you, man. (laughs) Tell your lady what's up too. Everything's good? Yeah. Family good? Everybody? Yeah, you know, San Francisco is a little crazy. It's way different than down there, but... But Your family uh, family okay? Yeah, my mom and dad. I I just had breakfast with my dad and he's fucking... He's kind of like we are. He's kind of like... I don't know. I don't know if this like I'm I'm being respectful, sure. but I, it's not in my head. Like you know what I mean? Okay. 
I think that's the key. Like, let's be respectful. Let's not be dickheads to other people. But like, right. let's not like dive into the drama of of losing our minds over it. That's I've been. Did I? I, I follow shit like yeah very closely, and mm, I don't like how people. I don't care who he. They're both fucktards. I yeah, don't like no. any of them. And but guess what? I'm not gonna get fucking weird if like you like this person or that person. You what? That rich guy or that white rich guy? Both of them. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. People are getting that mad at shit and at COVID. Like, look at everything that's happening around you. Mm -hmm. It's all a plan. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And I, I see right through it. And I'm just like, oh god, I can't believe this is happening. Like, yeah. I thought it'd be something different than this. I'm just, I'm going along for the ride. Whatever fucking they do. Don't go I'm gonna, along for the ride. <laughs> don't go along for the ride? <laughs> no. Well, I'm not going to stop living. That's what I mean. You know what I mean? Well, of course not. Yeah, so. No, um, but I did wake up this morning. I went to the doctor, and he told me, it was mm -hmm. a reggae yeah, man. Reggae man. Yes. <laughs> Best song ever. That's for my buddy. Yeah. Fuck yeah. All right, Lance. Um, <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Tell them Love you, brother. Boys, thank you for helping us with this. Yeah. But th thank you. See you Cheers. later, brother. Later. <laughs> thank you for listening to another episode of Talking Schmidt. You can subscribe to the show on iTunes, Anchor, Spotify, or anywhere you get your podcasts. When you subscribe, you'll get notifications every Tuesday of new episodes the minute they become available. Also, please leave reviews and a five-star rating. It's the best way to help the show grow. All of the episodes will always remain free, but if you would like to help support the show, you can do so at TalkingSchmidt.com, where you can pick up some merchandise like t-shirts, beanies, hats, and stickers. The website has an entire archive of all of the episodes, with extra photos and videos. Email us with any suggestions, comments, or ways that the show may have improved your life at talkingschmidt at gmail.com. All interviews are conducted, edited, and produced by Schmitty. The intro music is Mary's Cross by the band Nature. Very special shout out goes to the executive director, Cheryl Camisa. Shout out. Love it! This is Talking Schmidt.